did have a speech prepared last year, so this is my speech. <laughs> Bear with me. Good afternoon. Thank you. Wow. I actually wrote wow. <laughs> Just in case the applause wasn't as, you know, things like that. Um, it took me up until this speech last year to really reflect on the people, I can't look at the people, but um, to really reflect on the people who were part of this challenge last year. Um, this year, it took me about to last week. Last week, I was at mess. Um, I've had the pleasure of meeting hundreds of people who walk through that door to change them. Um, this year has been especially <clears throat> challenging for me because I went back to college. Um, I have not been to college for 10 years. Um, sitting at a desk for an hour at a time, oh, I gotta tell you, that was a challenge for me. The curriculum was fun, and I actually found myself um, talking to other students about why they were late. <laughs> When, when I wanted to quit, I sat there and I said, just because it's hard, just because I haven't been here in 10 years, doesn't mean that I'm supposed to turn and walk away. What I did was, I told myself over and over, <laughs> and over, and I cried, and I suffered, and I was sore, but I didn't stop. I wrote those papers, but the one thing I did was I asked for help. I look for people who knew more than I did, who suffered more than I did, who learned more than I did, and I said, how? And you know, the one thing that they said to me was, wow, like a person like you who's so strong and so driven, you're asking for help. I need help just as much as anybody else. Um, so that's what I did. And school is almost over, I have finals on Tuesday, so um, that should be pretty interesting, we'll see. <laughs> I, laugh, I literally sat at my kitchen table and cried, looking at my computer and reading my books, and I cried. And I cried, and I cried, much like you do when you're sore, and, and you hate the things I say to you. And I cried, and I cried, and I finally said, crying's not getting me anywhere. Reading my books, and studying, and learning is what's helping. And that's what I did. I put one foot in front of the other, and I learned more than I got stronger. Mental and emotional by putting myself in that situation. Now, there are many people in my life who, who got me to that point. I didn't all of a sudden one day say, I need to go back to school. I said that to myself for 10 years. And finally, people in my life who care about me said, Now, it's time now. And they were right. So I'm glad I'm there. I'm glad it's almost over. The one thing I heard throughout this challenge was, How did you get to where you are? How did you, and I would say, where? What, what is, where is where? They're like, well, well, at the point where you're strong and you're doing it every day without having to be told to do it. Well, something happened about 2001, May 24. Um, my grandmother passed away from heart disease, and it was the single most painful moment in life. Actually, the day after it was, because I didn't realize what I had had until, you know that cliche, you don't know what you've got till it's gone? That's what I experienced. And from that day forth, I chose to never miss out on a moment. Never miss out on a person. Never miss out on a smile. You know, someone cutting me up in traffic, which pissed me off two years ago, didn't aggravate after that. Because the experience I had losing my grandmother was so much more painful than someone cutting me up in traffic, or someone driving too slow, or someone being inconsiderate in line. Now I just step aside. And I let them go by. And sometimes I even try to make them smile. You ever meet someone who's really miserable? You try to make them smile? It, it's actually pretty cool to see them go from miserable to actually you changing their personality for, for that split moment. Then they can, you know, turn around and be miserable 10 minutes later. But you know what? They affected your life in a positive way because you affected their life. So that's what I try to do. I just try to be positive. <laughs> I don't have time, but... Um, <laughs> okay. Um, also, 
often when people say to me, how did you get to where you are? I started running with people who were faster than me. I started lifting weights with people who were stronger than me. I started spending time saying, I don't know, can you teach me? And the people who I surrounded myself with started to make me stronger and started to make me more powerful and started to make me wiser because I was showing them that I was weak. Being strong to me is by showing your weakness. And I may not show you that I'm weak in class because I'm trying to be strong for you, but I'm suffering just as much as you are. And I'm sweating, you know I'm sweating. Um, and that's why I look so nice tonight, because I figured I'm taking every opportunity to look like a girl when <laughs> seven days a week I don't look like this, which you'll see on the slideshow, I'm sure. They love to torture me. my task. I decided to, to, what can I do to prevent something from happening? Um, and, and that goes with, with being healthy. And in 2009, I became injury-free. I've actually told people to leave class because I felt that they were better off leaving rather than burning calories with me. Because being safe to me is more important than how many calories burn. Because tomorrow if you come back, I'm happy. And you're happy. So today it's not really about right now, it's about coming back. Um, <laughs> Does anybody know how tough it is to speak in public? In front of like seven people that are staring at you? Is it a crowd? Um, thank you. Wait, what, finish strong? Finish strong, that's right. It's only hard because it's worth it? Something like that? Okay. Um, so, book is closed. Um, this challenge, I, I, I give you me. I give you me. I don't give you eight hours of work, I give you me. And I'm proud of every single person in this room for spending their Saturday night with us. Uh, we've worked really, really hard at, at bringing you something that we believe in. And what you're going to see tonight, and who you see here tonight, is proof that if you put the time and the work in, that it pays off. So if you ever have that doubt of does this stuff really work,